Hey, what is up guys? Johnny here. Welcome back to JHC Gaming, your number one source for Shadowgun Legends. In today's video, we're going to look at the armor or the gear in Shadowgun Legends. What is the best gear? How do you decide when you choose between like one set of boots uh, and another set of boots? Like what is the best and why? So we're going to look into this today. Let's do it right now. So when you look at your gear in Shadowgun Legends, you can click on your shoulders or your gloves or anything. You will see the name of the gloves or the name of the set. This one right here is the Pterodon set. Uh, these shoulders right here are from the Hawk set. So right now, the set does not really matter. You can have different sets with the exact same stats or exact same perks. The only thing that matters right now when you decide what shoulders you're going to wear or what boots you're going to wear the only thing that matters are the perks, okay? You have to look at the perks. It's what's going to make the difference between great boots or greater boots, whatever you say. But okay, so first of all, what are the perks? You guys should know that by now. But when you click on your boots, you're going to have some icons at the bottom. Click on the icons and you're going to see the perks. Here are my boots I'm wearing right now, a Butterfly Class Y2. You see the numbers on the left right now, Knockdown Resistance explosion resistance crit damage and another knockdown resist so you can have double knockdown perks you can have double explosion stats or you can have crit damage that's pretty much the only things i've seen right now on boots knockdown uh explosion resistance and crit damage pretty sure i've seen cooldown to like one percent cooldown or something for your skills all right so right now the whole probably the whole community will agree the single best stat or single best perk you should look for in pretty much all your gear is crit damage. So when you're gonna level up, and yeah, first thing, if you don't know that yet, don't start. You should not worry about your gear. You should not worry about your weapon until you'll max level 20 plus 5, 250 power. Then and only then you should start farming for better gear. And then you should start worrying about your gear. There's no point farming if you're not 250 or 20 plus 5. Because your gears is gonna be under or under power, it's gonna be like 212 to 30 or something. It's irrelevant. Okay, so level up first, then start farming gear. Okay, now you're gonna start dropping some epic stuff in the arena, in the dungeons, and check the shop every six hours because you get a lot of good gear in the shop. These boots, for example, I got them in the shop. Okay, so the single best perk right now, the one thing you should look for at the start is crit damage why because crit damage is super important in this game compared to other rpg games uh, in other games you will have crit chance and crit damage so in other games you will have to try to balance your crit damage and your crit chance so you might want to sacrifice some crit damage for some better crit chance try to equilibrate get a 10 to 1 ratio or something but in this game if you hit the head or you hit the back it's a hundred percent crit chance it's gonna crit critical damage is increased damage so these extra crit damage on your gear will increase that number even more. So you should look for crit damage everywhere as much as possible. As soon as you find crit damage for your boots, you're gonna buy these boots. Or if you're lucky enough to drop a good, good pair of boots, get the crit damage boots and equip them. And they will do for now. You should pretty much ignore the other perks and then start looking to improve your boots that you already have. So let's say you got 5% crit damage on your boots. If it's possible, then you start you start looking at the boots in the shop every day still, trying to get a better number. And then you see 10% crit damage, you're gonna buy and you're gonna improve your stats. So you should look for crit damage on the boots. You should also look for crit damage on your pants. Here you see I got 15% crit damage. The rest, I got increased machine gun clips and increased melee resistance. They don't matter. If I ever uh, see better pants with still 15% crit damage, but a better second perk or a better first perk, then I will look to replace. But you should ignore everything but the crit damage for now. You should also look for crit damage on the gloves and on the shoulders. As you can see here, I got 13% crit on my gloves. If I ever see 14 or 15, I will look to improve. But look at the other stats. 12% damage with rocket launcher. I don't even use rocket launcher, but I'm not gonna sacrifice 13% crit damage to play another pair of gloves with let's say uh, assault rifle damage 
I use assault rifle, but crit damage is much better. All right, then the shoulders and the chest are the two complicated armor pieces, okay? First of all, here you see I'm using these shoulders with 5% crit damage, but I got better ones in my inventory. I got some butterfly shoulders that have a, a you don't see because of my webcam, but it is 14% crit damage. So I should start working to unlock that one. I got 9% selling, 4% loot. So the shoulders is gonna depend what you're doing exactly in the game. If you're playing PvP, you're gonna ignore the loot percentage or the selling percentage because it doesn't matter. You try to do as much damage as possible. So if I would play PvP, I would be better play with the highest possible crit damage on my shoulders. Some say I should also play these shoulders in arena, in a farming dungeon, because the more damage is the best. You're gonna clear enemies faster. You're gonna have better clear times. So you're gonna be doing a lot more dungeons per day or per hour or whatever. However, I decided to run these hot KRA shoulders. They got 5% damage, so I'm losing something like 9%. But this one here got 9% loot. I'm working on the third perk right now. I'm unlocking it. I will have 9% loot. This is the highest loot I ever had on my shoulders. My other shoulders had 8%, so it's extra 1% loot. So why would I play a better loot percentage but lose some crit damage? It's a personal decision. Some guys will not agree. But right now, this game is still brand new and there are still some secrets in the game it is not so clear what the extra loot percentage does but let's look real quick at the skills all right if you go on the skill tree in the survival tree there's a skill called luck of the devil and this thing will give you one extra percent or one percent extra loot and you can level it up to get an extra five percent loot i think but look at the description it says at the last line increases your chance of finding rare items so until the developers confirm is if it's true or false i and a lot of people believe having extra loot percentage on your gear will increase your chance of fighting rare items so we believe having extra loot percentage on our gear will maybe increase our chances to get legendary items so that being said i decide to sacrifice some crit damage on my shoulders to have an extra loot percentage or better loot percentage because maybe it will help me find better legendary weapons but right now i'm farming dungeons so i decide to wear these shoulders then the last tricky part is the chest piece here i got a wasp class y1 uh, epic body you cannot find crit damage on your body if i'm wrong tell me in the comments guys but right now i never seen crit damage on a body part so now you're gonna have to decide between health percentage auto heal activation and faster auto heal now I told you since the very start of the game on week one when I did some other guides I think it is much better to have extra health percentage as much as possible over the auto heal stats health percentage will increase your chance to survive a huge amount of damage because you're gonna take the damage anyways before you run away and give your shield a chance to activate and start healing you but because of that I really recommend you go for higher health percentage on your chest and mine right here with 15% I think is pretty low compared to some of my friends stuff that I seen in the past week go for high health percentage now I think that's pretty much it for today guys I really really hope it helped you guys and it will help you make a decision when you're gonna be choosing your gear and will be trying to improve your gear now once again thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please leave a like subscribe to the channel turn on your notifications Watch my other videos. I will be back soon. Take care.